Welcome to beautiful Merle's Inlet. No, we're not outside by the Marsh Walk today, but we're inside a wonderful art studio and you're getting ready to meet an incredible artist and storyteller. Meet Christine Vernon. And she's dressed as a pirate because she is the pirate lady of Merle's Inlet. That is right, exactly, that's my title. How did all of this begin for you? You are from Pennsylvania, you mm. moved to Merle's Inlet, fell in love, tell me the story. Well, I came down with a first husband and I ended up with a second husband, <laughs> which happens occasionally. So my second husband and I, Paul Vernon, are everyone we, in Merle's Inlet knows Paul. Everyone knows Paul. And um, when we met, we just decided that we just loved the inlet. So, of course, Paul had always lived here. And I moved in here with him and found out a lot more about the legends and the history of the area through Paul and the previous storytellers that were here. Well, I know if you come down here during the summer on the Marsh Walk, you'll always see Christine giving lectures and tours. And she tells me that legend is her favorite part. It is. I love the legends of this area. It's just so mysterious. And a lot of the legends go far, far back to the days of like the Waccamaw or the Spanish. And it goes all the way up even to today's stories. And you've gotten so good at this that Coastal Carolina has hired you for the Ollie program to teach classes. Yes, they called me about a year and a half ago, just out of the blue, and asked me if I would teach a course on history and legends of Merle's Inlet. And I said, do you know who I am? <laughs> do you know I'm gonna come dressed as Pirate Lady and teach? And they said, yes, please do. So I've been teaching, I think three, uh, three series now, I think is what I've been doing, three lecture series now. Before we talk about your art, I want you to fill me in on maybe the most unusual fact that you have learned since researching Merle's Inlet. Mm -hmm. What would we not know about Merle's Inlet that, that people are intrigued by? Probably one of the wonderful stories that I found out was that this land here in Merle's Inlet was actually called Walchesaw, and that was by the Waccamaw people, and they were the original inhabitants of Merle's Inlet, and that Walchesaw actually in their language means the place of great weeping. So this is where a lot of the Waccamaw Indian burial grounds are, is here in Merle's Inlet. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. So the Walchesaw development, um, they must really find that intriguing. I bet a lot of people moved in there and didn't know it had anything to do with Indians or weeping. Exactly. And the thing is, they did do digs way back in the day, around in the 1930s and 40s, and they did find the burial mounds there. I love this little studio that we're in. It Thank used you. to be Paul's workspace. He used to have tools in here, yes. but when he married the pirate, out he went to the other side. That's right. <laughs> it turned into a she shed, I guess, until instead of his tool shed. And your art works great. You teach a lot of times here. Yes, I do. Uh, once we got everything cleaned up and established, I decided to do a little bit of teaching. And the work is extraordinary because everything's different. You know, uh, you, you've got fun and eclectic. Certainly we see the uh, marsh influences, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Yes. But what I love the most in your little studio is your new work on the slate. I love working on the slate. Um, that was such a find. A gentleman who just moved here to South Carolina had brought all this slate from Michigan. They had taken it off the Michigan College rooftop, so it's antique. And he was going to get rid of it, and so Paul and I decided to take it here to the studio and I started painting on it. I just absolutely love it. You do so many things from storytelling and lecturing and painting. What is there yet to do for Christine Vernon? What are some of the things you want to do down the road? I'm thinking about maybe, of course, writing a book about the area as well. I'm constantly asked by people, are you going to write these stories down? Because our previous storytellers are no longer here. And there may be stories that I find out about through my research. And I'm thinking about actually putting everything down on print. So I'm hoping to get to that in the future. But when we think of pirates, we think of all the male legends and the male pirates, mm -hmm. but there's certainly some female uh, interest in legends of days gone by. Absolutely, Mara's Inlet has a few very important lady spirits as well. well of course, Alice Flagg, that's our most famous story here about poor Alice still searching for her ring out there in the marsh. 
And then we also have the legend and mystery of Theodosia Burr Austin. She was actually the first lady here in South Carolina around 1812. And she went missing, unfortunately, her ship disappear just off the coast of North Carolina. So those are a couple very important women here from Merle's Inlet. You've got to write that book. So I heard too that you're thinking down the road of offering like a mobile tour, that the walking tour on the Marsh Walk mm -hmm. has been successful, but a lot of times you find people who aren't ambulatory. Exactly. A lot of people, when they call and ask about my walking tour, ask me, do I have to walk on gravel because I have a walker or I have a cane and how far is the walk? So my husband and I decided that maybe we'll just do a small mobile tour here in the area. Um, we just purchased a uh, limo, a golf cart limo. And golf just, cart limo, I, know, I love that's it. That's so <laughs> Merle's Inlet, yes, right? That's yes. so Merle's Inlet and it can fit eight people. Wow. So we're hoping to fix it up and hopefully I'll be out there on the streets, you know, trying to help people that can't really do the walking tour. So if it isn't enough of all the things she's doing, she's <laughs> also a jewelry designer. Look at this necklace. Yes, yes, the necklace right here. Beautiful. This piece is actually made out of uh, hand-blown glass. Um, I just happened to have some glass here. It looked boring to me. So I just took some enamel paint and I just painted it to make it look like turquoise. So it really isn't turquoise, but I get the paint just right. And so I just decided to, you know, do jewelry every once in a while when I get a little bored of doing maybe canvas or wood. I see some pieces over there as yes. well. Beautiful, yeah, I love doing jewelry. So in wrapping it up, Christine, I know that you want people to come down and visit you. When do you give these tours? I normally do tours from March through November. Um, they're Wednesdays through Saturday nights and they uh, start at 7.30 p.m. Now you do have to call me though and make a reservation sure. for the tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not gonna hang out on the Marsh Walk just waiting to see if somebody's right, coming. exactly. And then if somebody has a family reunion or a wedding group or a bar mitzvah mm -hmm. group, I know that you will even come on site and, and entertain them. Absolutely, I would love to come by, even with children, children's parties as well. I love to come by and tell the stories and the legends in Merle's Inlet. So there you have it. Storyteller, artist, jewelry designer, golf cart limo driver. <laughs> I mean, she does it all. Christine Vernon of Merle's Inlet, bravo, my friend. Thank you. One of, Thank certainly you. one of the most beautiful pirates in our community, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Christine. You.